Hello and welcome back to another episode of the TF Soccer Training Podcast, where we are committed to helping your player grow on and off the field. I'm your host, Coach Taylor, and I'm excited to have you join us today. If you have not already, please rate and review and subscribe to us on Apple Podcasts or YouTube or whatever, wherever you're getting this podcast. It helps out a lot. Last week, we were talking about how players can take care of themselves away from the game. We're talking about how helping your player to create a visualization script to help their game. So this episode is jam-packed with a lot of actionable questions. So I recommend listening all the way through and then going back and re-listening to it and writing down the questions for your player. But first, we're gonna take a quick break. I know a lot of player and people are now using meditation scripts to help them get into the mode to be more mindful and more present for the game. And I, I love that. I think that's awesome. And that really gave me the idea to be able to help how I can help youth players in our program, which is by using using visualization. And visualization is a great technique, which I have mentioned in a previous episode, episode eight. So if you haven't listened to that, go ahead and go check that out. Now I wanted to kind of take it a step further and go a little bit deeper and talk about building out a visualization script. I know some parents who will have their players watch uh, different YouTube videos, which is great. I think there were, there's certain, you know, pump up YouTube videos that have Kobe talking over, talking about mindset, that mama mentality. There are definitely multiple out there on YouTube that you, you can listen to, but I want something a little bit more specific and individualized. If I was a player, I wanted something that was gonna help me in particular. What I want them to do is be able to build their own script. And I'm gonna help coach you through certain type of questions that we can ask your player to really start getting them thinking, to have a a better image of themselves, self image that they can take into their games. And it all starts with positive questions. The more upbeat and positive, the better their responses will be. And a quick word, a quick rejoinder to those parents who are already going to say, well, I want my player to be realistic. I want them to have a realistic view of themselves. And I say, I understand that. But I want you also to look at every great champion. You know, at the time, they had doubters. They may have not been the most realistic about their skills at the time. So if you look at every great player, the Kobe's, the Carly Lloyd's, Alex Morgan's, again and again and again, these great players, the incredible stories that you have heard, they had unshakable belief and visions of themselves. And it didn't start with being realistic. It started with them using their imagination to visualize their great success. And in the end, what we want is we want our players to be the very best versions of themselves as people, as players, etc. So why why try to limit them now? Why have them say, oh, I want you to be realistic? Why not have their visualizations to be upbeat and positive and have them full of success? So how, how are they going to start? First, ask them general but specific questions to help them to get in the mode of visualizing. So ask them, what would the weather be like? What, where were you, pl- what surface will you be playing on? Turf or grass field? What uniform will you be wearing? What cleats will you be wearing? You wanna ask these questions to have, make them actually picture themselves in the game. Have them feel the way they would feel when they're getting ready to compete against a great p- opponent. Then I want you to move in to start asking more pointed questions. So how, do you, how powerful do you feel in your warm up? How does it feel? What does it look like when your movements are quick, when you're dialed in, you're fully engaged in the drill? Tell me what it feels like when you start going through your team warm-up drills. You want your players to start seeing them as themselves as the star of their own story. You want your player to know what it feels like when they're fully ready and fully engaged in their own story. You want them to see themselves as they want to play. Next, this is where finally you want to get into start asking more positional specific questions. For example, if your player is a defender, well, I see if since I'm standing on the sideline watching you play a stellar defensive performance. And so their response may be, 
you will see me directing my teammates around the field, dominating my area and, and effectively communicating to my teammates with my words and actions. When the ball comes in to my area, whether it's a long ball or whether it's a through ball, constantly being able to cut it out and track it down and connect the pass away from pressure. I'm first to cutting out all crosses played into the box and I'm winning all my aerial duels. In 1v1, I'm staying nice and calm and collected and allowing to the attacker to be able to make the mistake. In possession, I'm collected, I'm poised. I'm playing quickly and calm and never rushing. If they're forward, you may ask, tell me what it looks like when I see you scoring a great goal. As I receive the ball under pressure, my, with my back facing to the goal, I am able to escape and lay off the ball to my center mid, who in, then in turn switches the play out to our winger. As I see the play developing, I recognize that my winger is going to win their 1v1 duel, so I need to lose my marker. I start by acting as a, though I'm going to sprint to the near post, but as I see my marker heading in that way, I put the brakes on. I slowly drift into the pocket right between the two center backs. And as my winger gets to the cross, I see the trajectory of the ball and I attack the space. As I rise up and snap my head down, I see the ball go past the keeper's hands and hit the back of the net. I go run and jump and celebrate in my teammates' arms to celebrate the goal. Once they have this script, this can take several different forms. You may want to have your player write it down and then read it to themselves or you may want to have, they may want to record it and then listen to it. And they can do this right before they, they go out and play their game. Either way, it doesn't matter to me. You want it fresh in their mind and in their head right as they're going to a game. I want them to feel their best. I want them to feel as though they are at the very peak of their power to be able to compete and be the best. And in my opinion, if every player started doing this before their games, if everybody had their own personalized individual visualization script of them playing and feeling their absolute best, players would feel way more confident and way more in control as they head into games. Sure, you know, some things were gonna happen and it may not go exactly as according to the, the way they imagined it or according to the script they had, but if they reversed it, they are gonna feel way better equipped to deal with the craziness of the game and the hecticness. And they will feel like they've prepared the best way they know how. So please let me know how you like today's episode. You know, feel free uh, to reach out and send me a message. I can do more episodes on visualization. I love talking about this. I love being able to give your player tools. And I love being able to chat about how I can help your player to play and feel their best while they're competing. So if you are local, please reach out to learn more about our training programs. If you are not necessarily local and you still want to train with us, please feel free to reach out about our mental training program. I would love to learn how I can best help your player. Until next time, please take care.